everyone, it is Mitchell aka The Walker in Orlando and welcome to our fifth day here on our Disney Cruise Adventure. Today takes us to Nassau Bahamas. This is one of the stops that we were making on our trip with outside of our two stops to Castaway Key. So originally the plan was we weren't going to get off whatsoever. We kind of docked this morning and we're kind of like, you know what, we don't really have anything for the first couple of hours of our day. So what we're going to do is we're going to get off for about two hours, maybe less than that. Um, and get off and just kind of do a little exploring, very minor exploring. We're not sure if we'll be there very long, but we will get off the boat this morning. So we are getting ready right now. Um, we are going to head down to breakfast at Lumiere's. And we're going to head on to Nassau. Honestly, I think that was the quickest we've ever gotten together because we are trying to go have breakfast at Lumiere's, hopefully have our servers that we've been having all week, and then try to be off the island as soon as onto the uh, to land as quickly as possible because they are still docking us right now. Um, but we should be off in just a few minutes, or we should be, they should be getting ready to get to let people off in a few minutes. And just like everything else, like with Castaway Key, you do need to, um, set a virtual, uh, group time so you guys can join the group, the time to go off of the ship. So, it's kind of something they do right now to help with crowding at the, uh, at, at the, um, at the, like, walk points. So we did come down to Lumiere's for breakfast because they did open up Lumiere's from 8 to 9.30 for breakfast. Um, and they were very big about like, if you want to get on the island as soon as possible at 8.30, because that's when they're anticipating for us being off, being able to get off the ship. So, but Kayla got just like a parfait and some Mickey waffles and I got an eggs Benedict. I probably won't show you that because there's nothing really fancy about it. So, but once we are done with this, we are going to join the virtual queue. Um, for to get off the ship, and I was actually going to show you guys really quickly kind of what it looks like. So if you come into the, the the app, you can see right there it tells you join queue and then learn more. And then when you join the queue, it'll show you um, like how many people are in front of you and exact time when you will be getting off the island or off the boat, ship, ship. Um, and then it'll tell you, like it'll send you a notification to say it's time for you to go aboard. So it's kind of nice. It's, it's much simpler. I think virtual queue than the Disney World app is. So we did just get off of the ship right now as we uh, decided to do just a quick, don't think it'd be very long, very quick little tour. But there is uh, Atlantis right there, which one of the excursions we were originally possibly going to do was a land and sea tour. And it was going to end at Atlantis. But everything we keep saying, it says that Atlantis is only open for guests staying there or if you have like a, se a separate excursion. So I don't know if they would let us stay. Also, it's just a bunch of casinos and stuff. So this is the very first time that we're actually getting to see the very front of the ship. And you can see there's Sorcerer and Mickey right there. You can see Donald and Goofy. You got Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen this and I haven't, it's kind of, it's just kind of funny because we haven't actually had a chance to look at really much of it. And also you can see right up there, there's the bridge where the, where they do all the driving and all the navigation for the ship right now. To give you kind of idea, there's the uh, magic right there, and we ended up walking all the way around to the front, all the way across, all the way this way. And as we were walking in, something that we thought was pretty interesting was one of the um, like deck workers or like one of the people working with like the, the government for us, like getting off, was like, make sure you wear your mask because you don't want to get a ticket. Which means that they are requiring masks no matter what you do, and if you don't, you can get, you can get fined for it, which is completely something we're not used to, but very uh very interesting instagram spot. oh my god there's an instagram spot we're just kind of i mean we really have no idea where we're going or what we plan on doing because we were originally not going to get off the ship whatsoever but i mean we went into a touristy shop and stuff and now we're just kind of still just walking around just trying to avoid any of the uh like vendors who kind of come up to us and ask us questions oh yeah the bahamas Grand Bahama, Barry oh, Island. Oh. Paradise Island. <laughs> so yeah, we pretty much just walked down this street right here, looked at a couple of the gift shops. But we really don't know what, what, what there is to offer. We kind of came with the mindset when we were getting ready to come in that we are not going to be getting off the ship whatsoever. And pretty much everyone we talked to, unless you're doing one of the excursions through Disney, they said you got to be really careful with uh, being on being on the uh, like on land, and they also are just very strict about COVID like COVID protocols and stuff, and they're very like don't let you know don't let someone talk you into things, and just be careful of pickpocketers as well. So we 
planned really just to come in, just take a quick look, say we actually got off, and then I think we head back to the ship because it's really not our speed. Well, like I said, we were on the island of Nassau for maybe 15 minutes. 15, 20 total minutes. We went in, what, three shops, and that was all. Nothing against it. We just, we weren't originally planning, but then we came in and we're like, oh, we might as well stop off and at least say we got off, but there's not much to do and we don't really know anything and we don't really want to ask, so we're gonna head back to the ship. But hey, we've been off the ship and we say we've been in the Bahamas. Well, like I said, we were off the boat about 30 minutes ago and we are getting back on the ship. Like I said, nothing against it. We just didn't have any idea what we wanted to do really. So we are just coming back on to, we're just gonna go ahead and go back on. We're gonna go back to our room. Um, there's a few things we wanna do on the ship, some, some activities and things. Um, but really this wasn't like a huge deal for us. Biggest thing was really trying to do Castaway Key both days. That's kind of our big deal about it. So it's really funny. So we came back to our room. Uh, one, they were actually doing some of the cleaning, so uh, that was kind of funny. Uh, we didn't expect them to already be working on it. Um, but almost every cast member or crew member we've seen as we were getting back on the boat, it's like, oh, you're getting back on right away. You know, it wasn't a very long trip. We weren't really like, because I'll tell you first and foremost, we originally weren't planning on getting off here at, um, like, doing anything here in particular. Um, because like there were some excursions but we just didn't have the money to do those and nothing really kind of popped to us like something we wanted to do um and so we we're just like oh we'll come back to the ship can i show you guys around like what's it like being at on the ship while you are at port to see kind of what it's like i think we won't be as busy but also our crew still isn't very full so that's already kind of a big thing about it is that we don't have very many people on our on our ship to begin with and a lot of people left on the excursions and it looked like a lot of people were heading to atlantis this morning so that would be something cool for us to go check out, but um, we didn't really want to go all the way over there. We didn't know how to get over there, and we really didn't want to spend any money trying to do any of that extra stuff. So eh, it is what it is. We did get off at the Bahamas, so we can at least say we did that. One thing is I like is that you can go to Cabanas, which is like the quick service like buffet, and you can actually bring stuff down from there to here, so you don't have to um, like eat up there if you don't want to, or for like me, like I didn't, I wanted to not eat up in Cabana, so I wanted to come down here and watch a little bit of the cartoons that they have, and just kind of relax for a little bit. Did not realize they were going to be docking another ship right next to us. Not only did they dock another ship, but they docked a ship that is gigantic in comparison of ours. So, it's kind of cool though, you can kind of get different ships and which ones will be here and which ones will, uh, You'll see. So we thought we would have at least one more meal in Rapunzel's and then we're gonna have lunch. And then I think after this, we've got a couple more things we wanna do, but I do wanna go up to the top deck to look at um, Nassau from up high and everything to kinda just see how everything looks. But yeah, one more time in Rapunzel's. This is the first place we ate when we first got on the boat. So we did the fried calamari and I got the fettuccine, which actually is really good. And then Kayla got the meatloaf right over there and I actually just tried a piece and that's actually really good. I usually like ketchup with it but the sauce is really good. Yeah I don't know what it is but the sauces they put on everything just is like makes everything makes it so much better. So I got the uh, hazelnut chocolate molten cake and I really it looks really really good and then Kayla got a sundae with lychee is that nice. So lunch once again at Rapunzel's very good. Um, very much still just love the atmosphere, but the food still very good. So now we're going to quickly run back to our room. Um, Kayla's going to put some like shorts and stuff on because we're going to go run up to the top deck. I'm going to do a quick kind of show around because I've not really shown you guys what's at the top deck a lot, like where food and stuff is. Just so for those who are wondering if you will be coming on the Disney Magic, just give kind of a lay of the area. Because I thought about doing a whole ship tour, but I knew I, that would take a long time and I, we had so much we wanted to do that I didn't have time to do that. So the only downside is, is that in the time frame from when we came back on the ship from going out to right before we left for um, Encanto and lunch, another uh, ship pulled up next to us. And it's really funny because this ship is definitely a lot bigger than our ship. I think, the, I think it looks like it's going to be bigger than what the... Um, than like It's probably going to be the size of what the Wish is going to probably be like when it, comes, when it debuts. But it's definitely more plain, unlike ours. Ours has a much better color scheme to it. 
All right, so I'm going to take a small adventure up to the top decks because so I do I want to show you guys one little like some of the stuff that is on those decks because I don't think I've done a really good job of showing you and just before we leave the cruise I want to make sure you guys know where everything is so that you guys are aware of it so if you are on the magic you can see where everything is so to give you a quick little feed is we're currently getting the aft elevators which are the back most elevators once you get up to level nine here once you get off these elevators as I've probably shown you a couple times this is where Cabanas is going to be. Cabanas is the buffet for breakfast and sometimes lunch. Um, that's where this is all going to be. If you're curious where that is, you can go in here. You can take food and bring it back out and take it to like your stateroom or something if you would like. If you are looking for some of the other quick service that are usually available the entire time while you're on the cruise, there are other locations. You come out the doors, once you come out the other to the left, you have Daisy's Delights, which is another just quick service location and stuff. These guys like sandwiches, can build a bowl, stuff like that. And this will take you out to the Aqua Lab, which is one of the splash pads out here. And it also has the twist and spout yellow slide up there behind the second funnel. If you head out of the elevators to the right, you come right out by the slide right here for the twist and spout. And this is also where the drink stations are. Now these are cold drinks, hot drinks, all that stuff. So you can come over here. If you want a hot drink, you do have to talk to the customer. They'll get you set up with that. If you head down the walkway here, you come down towards the slide, the exit of the slide here. And this will come up to the, past the Aqua Lab and take you up to the uh, Donald's Dine-In area. And of course they have a whole bunch of seating area for stuff like this. So if you are eating, you can eat here. So then on the other side of the Aqua Lab, across from where we came off the elevators, is the Dunkin' Diner. And this has like cheeseburgers, hamburgers, chicken tenders, fries, shawarma, all that stuff right over here. If you keep on walking down the pathway right here, we're going to come up to the main pool area. This is where you're going to have Goofy's Pool, your two spas. And when you come up here, this is also where you're going to get Pinocchio's Pizza. And then Pinocchio's Pizza is where you can get your pizza and they also have a small bar as well over here as well now what is pretty cool about this deck is they do have the funnel vision which i usually tend to play all sorts of different movies right now they are playing uh ralph breaks the internet and of course more seating area as well and then right underneath the funnel vision is this little stage right here and this is the stage that they'll do any sort of any sort of um productions of sorts so like when they did the marvel show that's where this is all at and everything and then you do have Cove Cafe right before the adult section. I probably won't show you, I won't walk around like fully in the adult section, but I may go up to the next deck to give you kind of a better idea of what it looks like from above. It also gives you a better idea where everything is as well. But we're gonna finish up the lap here, go through the adult section, and then show you where the ice cream is and then head up one more level. Uh, so I came to the forward elevators right here, and this is where if you are looking for Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique when it is open. These are the stairs you would take up to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Also on the same area, this is where Census is going to be, which is the, which is where the like spa and everything is over here. So we were going to try to do Census, but it ended up being too much, so we couldn't do it unfortunately. But maybe next cruise we'll do it for sure. So if you come to the other side of the deck on this side where the pool and everything is, if you walk down here, they actually have some life jackets you can use if your little ones need a little life jacket or something. It's right along here. If you keep on walking down this way, the biggest thing about where we're at, this will take us down to the ice cream station, which is just right down here for ice cream. Now, this has been a big thing for us. We've gotten ice cream almost every single time we've been up here. And more likely when I leave from up here, I'm going to probably get some more to take down to me and Kayla. So you see, you got some ice cream. They usually have some unique flavors. I think they do have banana, which actually I'm probably gonna make it a cup of that. And then they have frozen treats, which are like frozen smoothies and stuff. These do cost our additional costs, but you can get a specialty cup with that as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and walk up to the to the to deck 10. Deck 10 is the topmost deck you can go on outside of going up for the slides or vibe for the teenage club. Now deck 10, this is where you're gonna find Paulo at the very aft. So at the actually not the yeah at the aft. So the 
back of the boat, you're going to find Paulo back here. And Paulo is the Paulo is the like one restaurant that is on every single Disney cruise ship. And it is so it's right back in here. So if you're looking for that, that is also another one of those additional charges. Um, when we looked at it, it looked like it was like $90 extra per person. This will take us up and around to the back of the ship. Right now we are above where cabanas could sit because you can sit outside for cabanas if you would like. You can see also there's more seating out here as well. So if you just want to take a seat, you can. But right down underneath this is the seating area for cabanas. Also, I just want to give you guys a little look of Nassau around this wake. Like I said, we didn't do too much. We were not very interested in anything because we wanted to do a couple of the excursions, but in the end, we decided not to, and we just were like, we'll just kind of play it by ear. We can say we were off the ship, but we didn't go very far. We went about as far down as to the bright colored building right down there. Not only down to Senior's Frogs. Oh, there is also a mini beach, but I'm pretty sure that's for the hotel that's right there behind it. So now we are going to come to the left side of the ship, to the side that we are, our, our room is on. We're gonna give more of a up high view of everything so you can see everything. So we're gonna walk by the, pretty much the same route we just did. But we're gonna do a second route, a second time around, but we're gonna be able to look at everything. So like I said, right here is these twist and shout, or twist and spout with like a small little flash blast, really small. This is like for like your super young kids with the line for the slide way up there. So once you go past this funnel right here, to this funnel is the main funnel. This is the exhaust for the uh, ship's engines right here. As we go past this one, we are gonna come up to the main family pool once again. And so right here, you can see, get a better view of the pool. It is not a very big pool. And what's pretty freaking cool is that the pool can be can be uh, actually closed. And so they usually will close that at night. So what they do is they pull out the, the pull, pull out poles to pull it out. And then the side right there comes across and closes it off. So like during Marvel night, we were able to see, they were able to have spots where people could sit and watch the show and everything. So that is really cool. So the second slide they have is the aqua dunk. Now this is a drop slide um, where the bottom drops out from underneath you and it does this little spit, little thing out to the side. But what this is, is it goes outside over the side of the ship and then it comes in and crashes you in right here. So have not quite, did not get to do that yet. I don't know if we will because me and Kayla do have a lot we do want to do, but right now she's taking a small break right now before anything else. And then I'm going to walk over this way and I'm going to give you kind of a better view of the up, give you a better view of the adult area. So we're going to walk up here. So there are three sections and this is the third of the sections. This is the adult pool for the 18 and older. As you can tell, it is very popping right now. They have live music. They have a, they have signals, the bar, Co Cafe. This area right here is the concierge area. So if you paid for the concierge stuff, this is where you get to come up to. They get to serve you, bring you food and stuff, drinks and stuff. So they'll serve you all up in here. You do have to be part of concierge to do that. Also, what's in this other funnel right here, this is Vibe, the teenage club that you can go up into and hang out at. Haven't been in there, didn't think about going in there, so fortunately did not get to see what that looks like. Now we're gonna keep continuing heading on. We're gonna head to the very front to the worldwide sports area, show you all that. And then that'll probably be the quick tour of the upper decks. So like I showed you on the very first day that we got onto the ship, this is the worldwide of sports. So you can, they'll run some select things. They do run yoga up here every morning. But what is pretty cool is the very front of the ship or like very top has a netting as well that goes over it. So that when you are playing basketball, if you shoot it too high, it doesn't go out into the ocean. And you can rent stuff from like the area. I don't know where exactly you can rent it, but you can rent like basketballs, other random things to use. And then in this glass air off area, they have small things like uh, ping pong. They have foosball, um, area where you can sit and watch. It kind of protects it from the wind. So when it gets really windy up here, as we have found out how windy it can get, it's protected. And then now we make it to the very front that you guys can then look at 
and you can see there is the giant decorative anchor for the boat or the ship and then look and of course it wouldn't be some sort of Disney if it wasn't some sort of hidden Mickey and the flag and then there are specialty things like this is a infrared light for the, the so they could see out into the water in the middle of the night so they could see everything that's the little camera right there we could see when we were looking at the bridge view camera we were joking that oh maybe we could go down here and see it but I don't think it's available I think this is for like crew members only and that's kind of the quick that's this that's the left side of the ship we're gonna do a quick walk down the right side don't think really anything else but just give you kind of a look of different than everything else so now coming into the right side of the ship where we were just at earlier you can see they've got guys up here who are keeping everything clean and nice and tidy and everything there's always some sort of work going on the entire time which is always good to see that the work always being done and everything and then you can see right across the way it gives you kind of a better view of the concierge suite area where you can go into if you're part of the concierge they have especially seating they have indoor seating they have outdoor seating as well so that is super nice if you're part of that that is part of a nice perk they have and there you can kind of see you can kind of see the lights in there for the vibe the teenage club and if you are interested those horns right there that is the horns that you're able to use for the cruise ships horns which as you know are not just a regular horn they do play a special song and then we are coming to the mid part of the ship and this funnel right here if you go in here this actually has another set of elevators you can see the concierge guest and then there's another area you can see the zip line right there that is for the shows they do offer on the ship oh I see Donald and Daisy hanging out right now over there so we may go over there and go say hi to them really quick but here's another view of the family pool the goofy pool area they do have lines right now because that is what they're doing for the COVID protocols because they can only allow 19 people in at a time and they only allow one family in the water and the hot tubs one at a time as well just showcase though one of my favorite things is we have a compass that you can actually have and they have two of them they have one over here and then one over there next to the slide right there so I do really enjoy having this because it's kind of fun to come out here and look at which way you're going so like right now we are facing almost due north but when we turn around when we leave we're gonna end up having to back up and then they're gonna spin the boat around or the ship around and so you'll be able to see us turn around on the compass okay hopefully you guys got a better idea of what the top two decks look like on the Disney magic um, I can't attest to what the other three ships look like but that is what the Disney magics nine uh, deck nine and ten look like so they're decks with the pool with the quick service with the food the drinks gives you kind of a better layout of where everything is when you're on those top two decks um i did remember we did talk about where everything is on the first day when we were looking at everything so we'll try our best try to maybe at the end of this have some uh other footage to show you guys that maybe on a recap video maybe so but yeah, if you have any other questions about where things were, you can always just comment. And I'll try my best to answer those as best as we can. Or if you comment, we may make a video talking about your questions. So the original plan was to do some of the 3D crafts that's 18 and up in the O'Gills pub. But we got to see what the crafts were, and we weren't like that overly excited about it. So we looked at something else, and I think what we actually may go do is go do the Disney Cruise Line trivia. Now, are we going to do good? Probably not. But we're going to go ahead and just check it out, because we can learn something new about the cruise lines that we didn't know before which would be really fun to know like fine I like learning random things about everything especially like the cruise lines because I really like this a lot so if you're interesting this is the the pizza that you can get here at Pinocchio's Pizza like we were talking about earlier and they always have a couple different specialty ones near the end also like I was saying they have funnel vision going on I don't know what movie they're about to play I can't remember what it was they just they just played Wreck-It Ralph so it's probably Frozen it's 50 yeah so I think it's Frozen so oh god
animation like, stuff. So we gotta get going though because we gotta uh, because we have to. So we gotta go to Mickey Mouse trivia. So so we're leaving Nassau now, and what we're doing is we pushed us back, and we're down into like this big open area, and we are currently doing a three six a one eighty U turn to get us pointed the right way to head out. Mickey Mouse trivia and we were off the winners by two because we got the last few wrong and Kayla's gonna get real mad because she thought I missed a question and I thought I had got all the questions and in reality I did get all the questions but we still missed it by two so it's okay we still have fun we learned some things and I actually remembered some things Ooh, it's Darren again so we have officially left Nassau um, we are now which is sad because Next stop, we'll be back to Port Miami, which means it's heading home time, which means our cruise pretty much come tonight will be over. I'm real sad. I'm real not, not, not looking forward to getting off tomorrow. But man, has this been a fantastic, fantastic time though. I mean, if we had more money, we'd probably do these again freak more frequently, but Right now, I don't have the most amount of money, just had enough money just to do this. But now, heading down to the Walt Disney Theater to go do, to, uh, go see the dream show again. Because it was that good, we want to see it a second time. So that was still just as good as the first time we saw it. The only thing though is we were both feeling very seasick. Um, we are making a straight beeline back for Port Miami right now. So we are moving about as fast as the ship can go. So almost every wave we can feel it, especially being at the front of the ship, makes it very, very nauseating. We both were really struggling through that, so it is what it is. We'll just try to do the best we can right now just to make it through. Hopefully with the at Lumiere's we're in the middle of the ship, so we'll be a little bit more center and uh, balanced, especially since it's the middle part and in the middle part of the um, ship. It'll be a little more even, hopefully. Hopefully. So, as we walked in, they made a little, little mouse. I don't know what the eyes are, but that's weird. It's like a little Velcro thing. Some more chocolates. And then the best part is we got postcards. So excited. That stuff I'll show you tomorrow. So, I'll once we do tomorrow, we'll talk about our disembarking. And then we'll show you guys what we bought. We didn't buy very much. Again, don't have a lot of money, extra money to spend. We spent a lot of it on this cruise. But we'll show you what we got in the end because I think some of the stuff is pretty cute. We'll show you what we got for free and stuff we paid for and we'll kind of give you an idea what we paid for everything. So last night of dinners and we get Lumiere's for dinner tonight so I feel like it's the more fancier restaurant on the on the ship. I know it's not like Paolo's which is the super fancy one but still pretty feels pretty fancy in here. So for my appetizer I ended up getting the fried brie which is just fried cheese which in sense is like a mozzarella stick almost. What was the sauce? A orange and cranberry chutney. And then Kayla got the uh, potato leek soup. And that is actually really good, honestly. We already tried that a little bit. Which I don't think leek has actual taste. What? I don't think leek has an actual taste. It doesn't. I think it's just a, it's just a, it's like a, almost like a topping almost. <laughs>
throughout that fun uh, party atmosphere, we ended up getting our steaks with a little little thing of potatoes. It was really funny because our server, Art, actually said he was going to give me a little extra because the steaks are kind of small. But someone ended up with the extra steak over there. There's no way. Even a full one of That's fine. And the last dessert we have for this trip, we got something real fancy and creme brulee. This was very much highly recommended by Art and um, our server. So within recording of our fifth day, which from not sound everything, um, after dinner, didn't 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 um, actually uh, do an outro talking about our day and everything. So, so yeah. So like today, we ended up going onto the island for a very small amount of time, not super long. We didn't really like have a lot we wanted to do. Um, we were on maybe 30 total minutes, and then we ended up exploring the ship a lot more. We watched Encanto on, in the Buena Vista Theater, had lunch at Rapunzel's again, which was just as good as the first time we had lunch on Rapunzel's, and then um, we then. Did a few trivia things, got to draw Pluto, which was absolutely fantastic, and then um, got to watch the Broadway, the Broadway style show in The Dream, which was very, very good, um, except the fact that we were kind of both a little extra nauseous due to the speed we were going out from, um, from Nassau, um, but then dinner was just as good, and I really enjoyed the atmosphere of dinner with the Disney characters uh, with Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, and Goofy running around. That was actually a lot of fun. So, And also, dinner was really good. Um, I would say the steak wasn't as flavorful as the thing I've had, and I kind of realized I ate way too many steaks on this and didn't really try anything else. So maybe the next time we go on a cruise, I'll try more things. Of course, I say that, and I'm probably going to end up having steak every time again. But, I mean, overall, it was good. It's just sad because it was the last night of our last full day of our cruise. And tomorrow morning when you guys see, or the next day, next day, day you see it, we'll be back in Miami. So, but hope you guys are, have enjoyed so far, and hopefully you guys enjoy our debarkation day. So, with all that being said, as we do, actually I do head out to finish editing the video. I'll see y'all tomorrow.